The side inset uh, was cut from 12mm birch plywood that I had lying around in the workshop. And that m uh, makes up the final pieces uh, in the enclosure. I'm using a flexible filler just to fill in all the gaps. I'm not too concerned with the finish however because the entire enclosure will be uh, covered with a fabric. So here I'm just uh, sanding off uh, all the excess filler and just uh, giving it a general smooth and even finish on the outside. And here after cutting the fabric it magically attaches itself to the main part of the enclosure. These speakers have been salvaged from an old sound system that I have, um, so I'm just detaching them from the face plates uh, and uh, we'll be mounting them onto the baffle uh, before we actually stretch the fabric over it. This top third of the baffle gets uh, covered in a uh, brown vinyl. Uh, this was actually the most difficult part of this whole build, was uh, getting the vinyl stretched around those very tight corners. As mentioned before, I'm having to fix the loudspeakers into the holes on the front baffle uh, before we stretch the fabric over it. 
uh, in hindsight I think I could have designed it differently and have them uh, fixed from the rear rather. The enclosures for the full range loudspeakers are uh, just 110 millimeter diameter PVC tubing um, and uh, I'm just fixing them to the rear of the baffle with some uh, two-part epoxy. The port for the base compartment um, is diameter 40 millimeter PVC tubing. Uh, so after having measured the base driver and worked out the size of the enclosure, uh, the length of the ports were determined. Finally we get into the part where we are installing the electronics, uh, here I am uh, just fixing the TPA3116 2.1 amplifier module uh, to the rear of the baffle, uh, just soldering up the LED. If you want to know where I bought this uh, amplifier module, uh, I'll put a link in the description. This power supply module is a 24 volt 4.5 amp switch mode power supply uh, and I'm just wiring up all the mains wires coming in from the IEC plug. This foam tape uh, presses against the, the rear baffle. Um, and uh, seals the enclosures for the smaller full range speakers. This is the final part of the build where we are masking and spray painting the stripes onto the front baffle. Uh, we're also just attaching a few uh, final uh, details as well as the Insta badge uh, that was cut, laser cut from a 3mm MDF.